some good body shots, and he landed a big knee. Oh, oh. he hurt him! Huge lump! The hand is so dangerous. Oh! Seeing Alex knocking out a fighter like Israel, not once or twice, but three times, you can't blame him for his cocky behavior. Alex was haughty like never before after defeating a fighter of Israel's caliber. But would Israel be able to counter his aggression and audacity in the final UFC fight? A seven-year rivalry was nothing less than a saga, and every grand saga needs an equally befitting grand ending. Let's see how the famous saga between Alex and Israel ends. Deus, what started as a kickboxing fight, took years of aggression, trash talk, and emotions to finally culminate in UFC 286. What unfolded was as thrilling as years of bad blood between two fighters. Some good body shots, and he landed a big knee. Oh, he oh, had a huge oh, and oh, left at oh, the end of the he round. Had a He's making Izzy uncomfortable. And now Pereira shoots. Oh my goodness. And Pereira gets the take. This video is a tribute to the saga between Israel and Alex Pereira. We will watch the controversy surrounding both fights, the inner rivalry, their history, and the ultimate battle that will decide the end of this saga. Let's trace back this rivalry over the years and see how tension built up to this extent. The saga began with the first fight between Israel and Alex. Israel was an established kickboxer with an 11-win streak in kickboxing. On April 2, 2016, Israel faced Alex Pereira at Glory of Heroes 1. What unfolded was unexpected not only for Israel, but for everyone else. Despite Izzy's dominance in the ring and his significant strikes, the judges favoured Alex unanimously. The first fight was largely inconclusive. A year later, both fighters faced each other again in kickboxing in Glory of Heroes 7 on March 4, 2017. Again, Poatan, aka Alex, won the fight via a left hook knockout in the third round. Israel had suffered a breathing issue when he got knocked out, and it took some time for the former middleweight champion to regain his balance. But that must have been frustrating for Izzy, despite outclassing him in the first three rounds until a left hook devastated Israel, knocking him out completely. The path of both fighters diverged from there on, but fate was not done with both as they were about to face each other in UFC. What do you think about the rivalry between both fighters? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Israel left behind kickboxing and entered the realm of UFC, finding new power and popularity. With his victories against fighters like Robert Whittaker two times, the last stylebender reigns the octagon. He was compared to fighters like Anderson Silva, but a shadow remains on his head from the past. Whenever he was hailed as a great fighter, a clip from his past circled where Alex knocked him out helplessly. Alex Pereira's knockout loomed above his head like a dark cloud. Pereira's knockout was unsettled, and that needed to be fixed. Would he be able to get rid of that cloud? Only a fight could decide. As if following Israel, Alex Pereira also entered the world of MMA. Alex has yet to establish himself in this new world, but he has secured victories over fighters like Israel once and twice, and he was ready to cash it out. As if brimming with pride and power, Alex Pereira was keen to beat Israel in the UFC. A fight with Israel was much needed to establish himself in MMA, as he already had a big name. With his two kickboxing wins against the last stylebender, Pereira already had an edge over him. But this was not a kickboxing ring. Israel was already an established fighter, and odds was against Pereira. With too many wins, Israel was a favorite in the 281 battle. But Alex Pereira was haughty beyond belief. He was reluctant to accept the supremacy of Israel challenging him and was confident like before. It was Israel who looked visibly anxious before a fight. Alex stood like a hunch on his way to greatness. As the two fighters entered the octagon, there were no civilities, there was no glove touching, no friendly nods, nothing but hard stares as both were ready to fight each other in the ring. Israel was the striking masterclass. He showed his class. The fight was largely in favor of Israel. He showed his class striking power, excellent timing and technical supremacy in the ring. But like a jinx, it happened again in the fifth and final round. 
The brutal power of Alex Pereira once again knocked out Israel, giving him a clear win despite a good fight from Israel. Israel was left baffled one more time as it was frustrating for Israel and a rematch was to restore some of Israel's self-respect. But this fourth time was almost his last chance with this three-loss streak. It was a time for retribution or a blemish on his career forever. Was he never going to come out of this humiliation? Israel had a reputation to live up to until then. The formidable fighter became a joke when the word Foaton, aka Alex, was mentioned. As long as Pereira was out there, nobody would take Israel seriously. Everyone was anxiously waiting for the rematch. His technical excellence and supremacy as a fighter in previous matches were useless compared to Alex Pereira's brutal knockouts. The fight began with both fighters somber-like deaths. Round one was competitive, with Pereira targeting Israel's legs with brutal kicks. Is he had a real problem with that calf kick? He compromised his leg after the first round and Israel retaliating with his low kicks, head kicks and crisp boxing moves. Both were cautious and nobody tried to be extra offensive, but with a competitor like Alex, Israel couldn't rely on mere defensive mechanisms. The next round will bring forth some of his offensive strategies, but before Israel was Pereira, a man with powerful knockout ability and a three-time jinx, but nobody was prepared for what round two would bring forth. Round two proved fatal, but for which fighter? Pereira landed a knee that pushed Israel into the cage. Israel came off the cage with two right hooks and a right hammer fist, followed by ground and pound to end the fight at 4.21 of the second round. Alex was on the ground and almost knocked out, as if seeing his victory, Israel placed hammer punches and the referee had to intervene. Alex was in no position to continue. Israel was dancing, mocking and devouring the moment of victory Years of wait was finally over. It was his moment to glory. He gave him back the same knockout, not equal, but with more power. Alex was sprawled in the middle of the octagon while Israel circled him, devouring the appreciation from all sides. Israel gets sweet revenge with knockout UFC win over Pereira. Israel took what was finally his. He snatched the middleweight championship belt and cemented his legacy as one of the greatest fighters in the sport's history. Finally, the jinx was broken. It was a victory long awaited. Israel has consistently performed in the last three fights, but failed to draw results. This time, he sealed the win, thus putting a stop to Alex's arrogant behavior and pulling down his pride. Did you like this video? Please share your comments below. To many of us, Israel does not appear to be a huge macho man in the world of MMA. Poaches a lot of giants who think they can take down Israel. Watch how Israel knock out another cocky fighter and secure his position in UFC. See you there.